What's up guys, in today's Shopify tutorial I will walk you through step by step on how to exactly create your first Shopify store in a matter of minutes. We are going to go over all of the important steps like choosing and customizing a theme, adding products, adding collections and we are also going to go over all of the backend settings like setting up payments, setting up shipping, legal pages and so on. So first off, let's actually get ourselves a Shopify account. You can use my affiliate link down below to get an extended paid free trial. So if you do want to save some money, make sure to take advantage of that. Either way, right here, we will then just have to go through some of the questions and we can then create our account. Right here, we can then choose our plan. I would recommend you to get started out with the basic plan and then later on upgrade if needed. However, it is important to notice that you're either way going to get a three day free trial and then you will just have to pay $1 per month for the first three months. So I'm going to use the basic plan for this video and we will then have to put in our credit card information to actually move forward with this. We can then put in our business address and we can save this right away. Now we are going to be redirected onto the actual Shopify dashboard which is going to look something like this. Let's get started by choosing a theme for our store. To do so head over to the online store settings on the left and as you can see by default the dawn theme already has been installed. However if you would want to use another theme you can actually find all of the popular free themes right here and you can access the theme store to find even more themes. Now generally speaking I would actually recommend you to either use the dawn theme or the trade theme to get started with. In this case I'm going to use the dawn theme for today's video as this one is just going to work for basically every niche out there and it's my personal favorite theme. I'm going to click on customize to open up the theme editor and this is how it is going to look like. Let's get started by changing some of the default parameters of our store. To do so head over to the theme settings. Right here we can then first of all add a logo for our store. You can also change the favicon right here and I would highly recommend you to also change and customize the color schemes as that will significantly help with the overall branding of your store. One other thing which you can do is to change the font of your store. I personally don't really like the default font which is being used on a dawn theme so I'm going to change it to the inter font. Alright I think this right away does look way better. Let's save this for now and let's continue by adding our first products onto our store. So once on the dashboard head over to products on the left and then click on add product. We can then add the title, description as well as media so images and videos of our product right here. We can then continue with the pricing. I'm going to price this at $39.90. We can then actually also set a compared price. If we do this, this will basically just mean that this product is going to be discounted. So if for example, I'm going to set $79.90 as the compared price, this is now going to show a discount. So basically reduced from 80 bucks to 40. We can then also select if we do want to charge tax on this product. We can add our cost per item to actually track our profit. So I'm going to say this costs me 20 bucks. We can then track the inventory. So I'm just going to add 1000 of these onto my stock. We can also put in the weight for the shipping. This is really important as this is later on going to be used to dynamically actually calculate the shipping rates. So I'm going to say that this is going to weigh one kilo. As for the variance right here, I'm going to add a color option as I do have three different colors right here. Now as for the actual uh, variance right here, as for the color, I'm going to select it. I'm going to change this to uh, brown and I'm going to delete black. Then we also do have blue but kind of a navy blue and the third color was gray, silver. Perfect. We can then of course also change these individually but I'm going to leave it at that for now. As for the variance right here we can then actually set the images for these. So in this case whenever someone is going to select a brown variant I'm going to select that the brown image is going to show up. Same goes for navy and same goes for silver as well. We can then choose how much we have available for each of these. We can set up the category meta fields right here and we can then essentially just save this for now. I'm going to now add some other products as well so that we can use these to play around with them. Now that we have these products right here, if we would want to, we can then actually also categorize them by setting up collections. 
To do so, head over to the collections tab on the left and right here you can then create a new collection. So I'm just going to name this new arrivals, but you could for example also create a collection for men's or women's if you are running clothing related products and so on. So as for the collection type, just leave this at manual for now and then click on browse right here and select all of the products which you do want to have inside this collection. You can also set an image if you want to, but I'm not going to do that for now and let's just save this. Perfect. Now that we have set up our products and collections, let's head back to the online store and let's further customize our store. I'm going to open this up in a new tab. Let's get started with this from top to bottom. Right here we do have an announcement bar. This is great for displaying all sorts of different discounts going on inside your store. So I've just put in minus 20% all orders above $100. We can then actually also make this clickable by linking this onto a certain page. So I'm just going to link this onto the all products page right here and I'm going to save this. But let's actually further customize this. I'm going to select the announcement bar block right here on the left and I'm then going to change the color scheme of this. I do want to display my gray color scheme so I'm just going to select that right here. As for the header we can then click on here and we can change stuff like the logo position. So if we would want to add this on the center or on the middle at the center, we can do that right here. I'm going to leave it at the middle. To actually change the menu items right here, make sure to head back to the tab which you already have opened, click on content and then click on menus. Under the main menu, you can then find your main header menu. I'm first of all going to delete these uh, sections right here. And I'm going to simply just add a new menu item. I'm going to name this all products. I'm going to keep this relatively simple. So I'm going to link this onto the all products tab. You could of course also link this to certain collections which you have going on, to certain pages or individual products, but I'm just going to leave it at these two menu items right here and I'm going to save this. And as you can see, after a couple of seconds, this now has been updated. Let's now continue with the main section of our homepage, the hero section. Right here I'm going to add an image onto the background. I'm going to use this banner right here. Let's see how it looks. We can then also change the overlay opacity right here. Now one thing which you will have to understand is that most people are going to visit your store on their mobile device. So make sure to regularly check on how your store is going to look on mobile. You can do this by using these buttons right here and you can basically change the breakpoints of your site. I think this does look good. Now we can then change the height so we can adapt this to the image for example. We can, we can add an animation, we can change the content and so on. But all of this isn't too important right now. Let's stick to the basics. I'm going to change this to a text. I'm going to name this shop or new arrivals. I'm going to actually also change the text. I'm going to make this lowercase and I'm going to change this to shop now. As for the link, I'm going to leave it at the all products link. Now I actually want that this text is going to be left aligned. So I'm going to select the image banner right here. And as for the content, I'm going to say that this is going to be aligned left and I'm going to place it at the bottom left. I think something like this does look better. One other thing which I do want to add is that I do want to kind of have a round corner on my buttons as well as on my images right here. Now to do that we will once again have to head over to the theme settings and under buttons we can then add a radius. And as you can see, now the button is a little bit more round and we can also do this with the product cards right here. All right, great. I think this right away does look way better. Now, the next section on our homepage would be this featured collection section. Right here, we can display any collection inside our Shopify store. I'm going to replace this with the new arrivals uh, collection which we have created. Now, in this case, this would be the same products, but either way, you can change the collections right here and you can also change the heading or you can completely delete it if you want to. In my case, I'm going to leave it blank and I'm going to delete the heading. By clicking on add sections on the left, you can then also add other sections onto your store, like a multi-column, a multi-row, collapsible content and a lot of other stuff. Generally speaking, however, I usually try to keep the homepage as simple as possible to drive as much traffic as possible onto the actual product page where we can then actually convert the customers. However, if you would want to add another a section, you could do that. You can simply just add an uh, image with text section, for example, and you can then customize this with the same procedure as we already went over. So let's actually preview our product page right now. We can do this by clicking on homepage right here and by then selecting the products default page right here. 
And as you can see, this is how the product page now is going to look like. You can change the color, this is then automatically going to update, but overall you are going to be pretty limited when it comes to actually customizing the product pages on Shopify. So I would actually recommend you to use a product page builder called Instant for this. With Instant you can create high converting product pages, you can also include social proof, so reviews, and this is basically going to be way better converting than the default product pages on Shopify. I will leave you a tutorial down below. But either way, I'm going to save this for now. Let's now head back to our Shopify dashboard and let's continue with the backend settings so that we can actually launch our store. Head over to the settings on the bottom left and let's first of all set up payments option so that people can actually check out. I would recommend you to set up Shopify payments right here. This is going to allow you to instantly accept Visa, Mastercard, Amex, Klarna, PayNow and a lot of other stuff. So make sure to just add your Shopify payments detail right here. I'm going to click on activate and you can then go over all of the different questions right here and this is then automatically going to add Shopify payments onto your store. You can also add PayPal if you want to or you can also add third-party payment options right here. So if you want to for example add crypto you can do that and you can simply just add that. Next let's head over to markets. Right here we can set the different kind of countries where we do want to sell in. By default you're only going to have your domestic market available. So if you would want to sell in other countries as well, make sure to click on add market and select your countries right here. In my case I'm just going to leave this at Austria for now. Let's actually now head over to shipping and delivery. Right here we can then set up our shipping rates. We can base this off the shipping zones. So by default we are going to have our domestic market where we do have the standard shipping rate right here which would be set as free. In this case if we would want to make this paid for example we can then just change that inside right here. We can then actually also base this off order price or off item weight but I'm not going to get into that right now and if you would actually sell your products internationally you can also set the rates right here. Next let's set up our policies. Right here under policies we can go over all of our written policies. This is automatically going to be generated so you can just insert these templates but make sure to actually read through this as there are going to be some parts where you will actually have to add your own info. I'm going to click on publish and I'm going to continue this with all of the different pages right here. To now actually make these policies right here visible on our store, head over to the content right here, head over to menus, head over to footer menu and then just click on add new menu items and simply just link all of the policies pages right here onto your footer. Once saved you can then head back to your online store, you can once again click on customize right here. And under the footer settings right here, click on add block on the left, click on menu and now you do have all of your different kind of legal pages visible on your store which is mandatory by law. Let's now exit out of this, let's head back to settings and let's now actually add a professional domain onto our store. Head over to domains right here and right here you can then either buy a new domain or connect an existing domain onto this and once you've did so you can basically launch your store. You will just have to remove the password and then your store is successfully launched and your store is open to everyone. I really hope that this video was helpful, make sure to get your Shopify free trial with the link down below and I will see you in the next one.